This is Matt for Boxing Social, in association with William Hill and Empire Fight, so I'm delighted to be joined by Two Tanks, O'Hara Davis. Come on, Two Tanks. O'Hara, um, career best performance, from, from my viewing anyway. Um, tough competitor in Lewis Ritz, and you hit him to the body early. You could tell it hurt him, but he still carried on. But you managed to stay composed in there and got the job done. You must be elated. You know what? The fight was a lot harder than I thought it'd be, but then again, I was expecting the best Lewis Ritz, and it was the biggest fight of his boxing career, the biggest fight of my boxing career. And, um, you know... I kept throwing the shots downstairs. He weren't going down, he weren't going down. I said, you know what, I'm going to go upstairs. I've kept throwing them upstairs. I hurt my right hand. Look, it's a bit swollen. The guy weren't going down. I said, you know what, I heard my team saying, oh, he keep hitting them downstairs. I said, you know what, I'm going to just keep throwing a shot downstairs. And then he went down. Yeah. I, um, I didn't even know he was hurt. Like, I couldn't feel it connecting. I just said, you know what, these guys keep on saying to throw that shot, so I'm going to keep throwing that shot. And it worked. And, um, you know, I'm glad. I'm, that ran nine. Big up a horror, David. <laughs> that was round nine, and um, oh, I'm very happy. Show. It's fucking beautiful. Yeah. Can you send it to me? I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm thankful. Listen, I'm going to post that on Instagram. <laughs> Before it gets too late, you know. You know what I mean? Cram time and all that. <laughs> Did everything go to plan, though? Before, before the fight, was this the plan to slowly break him down and get him out of there? Because everyone talks about your power in that right hand, but you showed tonight you know more than just power, composure, shot yeah. placement. More of a right. My coaches believed that I could have got him out of there a lot earlier if I listened and if I listened a bit more and I threw a few more shots. Um, but then again, I live and I learn. It was the best. It was the best that I thought so far. I just know that for my next fight, I've got to take it up another level. We can't be happy with this. We have got to keep on going. Progress, progress, progress. And um, you know, got to go back, watch the fight, look at the mistakes that I've made, and uh, think about what I can do better next time. I spoke, I spoke to you earlier in the week and you were very much business this week. There was no antics, there was no playing up. Like we've seen in previous years, and you alluded to it at the side of the ring going, look, I may have sometimes, you know, I watched a lot of Floyd May with Muhammad Ali, but, you know, I'm just going to be me from now on. Do you feel like you've got sort of a bit of a weight off your shoulder now that you can just relax a bit? I've got a massive weight on my shoulder, especially when I first got signed to Matchroom. A lot of the thing was like, OD, be someone that you're not. We need to sell tickets and, you know, we need you to sell tickets and get them angry and, and get them riled up and get likes online and be someone that you're not say this and say that and you know what I mean like dye your hair blonde and be someone that's not you and I listened I listened to the wrong advice the wrong people gave me the wrong advice since I've left them I've got a new team what Will said to me the other day OD be yourself if you don't want to do something don't do it don't be pressured into doing nothing yeah. be yourself whether that sells or not I don't care about if I sell or not I'm going to be myself I'm not an arrogant guy I'm a loving person I'm a normal person but a lot of the way that I've acted is giving the public a certain perception of me yeah. and that's my fault for listening to the wrong guys my old management the old promoters Matchroom, Eddie Hearn all of these people they used me abused me and they threw me under the bus this team I'm with now we've got my best interests at heart and, this is, and, and these are the guys that I intend to end my boxing career with well you don't need to do any more of the selling now you've got your world title shot something that um, we know you always wanted and now after that performance obviously you deserve it's now about you having that break having a bit of time out because you can tell you've put you've put a lot into this camp <laughs> yeah I put a hell of a lot into this camp listen I dedicated my life to this the past few months I, I don't remember the last time I had a burger well, <laughs> listen, I five guys I don't remember the last time I had a Twix or all of these things that I love like a fizzy drink a LucasAid I've literally dedicated myself I'm either at the gym or I've got my feet up on a PS5 on, I'm on FIFA or I'm on I'm on Call of Duty because I need to rest I'm either in the gym Oh, I've got my feet up on a PS5. I'm never out and about. I'm not going out to meet friends. Nothing. I've dedicated so much of my life. Now, I'm not thinking about next fight, nothing. Monday morning, I said to Will, I ain't coming to the gym Monday. Tuesday, I ain't coming to the track. Don't phone me, don't text me. Let me be for once. For the past few months... <laughs> <laughs> for the past few months, I've done whatever they wanted to do. For the past few months, my coach say, come gym at half 9am, come gym at this time. I don't want to wake up this early and go gym. You know what I say? Okay. Listen, you had me the last few months. What, what happens every day on the way to the gym? Dartford Bridge. I know. Always. But you know what? My last few months, I've dedicated myself now. This is my time to enjoy it. Just quickly, talk about your team, um, Will. Every, everybody who's played a major part in getting you to this point because we've seen sort of you evolve from the fight you used to be into the fight you are today. Lee, your management, everyone involved. One thing I've realised about my coach, Will Jones, the head coach, is that he's changed my training over the years that I've been in Will. I've only had a few fights with him, but I've been with him for years. Will caters to training to what suits me. He looked at my strengths and my weak at my strengths and my weaknesses and what we've done at the start is not what we do now. Will's learnt me, my boxing 
like my boxing style and my personality. He knows what works with me and what and what and what doesn't work with me. And um, he's catered my boxing session to what suits me. We've got Junior Saba, we've got Ian. Everyone's on board. Everyone plays their role, and everyone does a good job. I'm thankful to the team I've got now, and um, you know, I think um, I'm a much more likable person when I just be myself. I'm a much more likable person. I've got a weight lifted. I've got a weight lifted off my shoulder. I ain't trying to impress anyone. Whether that sells or not, like I said, I don't care. Just um, I'm gonna be, be, be O'Hara Davis. I think that's a perfect way to end this look, OD. Uh, appreciate your time. Congrats, and we look forward to you getting that world title shot and being on the big stage. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh,